Dying Light 2 gives you plenty of things to duct tape to your weapon and smack infected with, but which ones are the best? Which ones should you spend those tough to get infected trophies on to upgrade? Well, hopefully this video can answer all of that for you. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite weapon mods are. Now first, let's talk about the different types of mods because there are three different types. There's the blast mods, the crit mods, and power. Crit mods are activated on a critical hit. So when you critical hit the enemy, the mod effect will occur. These mods will also often increase your critical hit chance as well. So you have a higher chance of actually this mod activating. Blast mods are activated by pressing the left and right mouse buttons together or whatever it is on controller. This has a cooldown timer between activations. As you upgrade these mods, that cooldown time will go lower but you have to wait for that cooldown timer to go up and you can actually see the icon next to your weapon down in the lower left and when it actually fills up or the bar fills up all the way up then you can activate it similar to this is a power mod now power mod is charged by just attacking so after a certain amount of attacks the power mod will charge and then it is activated by performing a power attack which is one of these skills that you have to unlock once you have unlocked this skill and you use a power mod once you do a power attack you will activate the mod effect in my opinion i prefer the crit and the blast mods i don't like the power mods as power attacks are kind of mostly single target the blast effects are a pretty decent aoe in most cases i really like inferno as it's like a big fire aoe in front of you and the crit mods are just good because you don't have to do anything they'll just activate on their own for the most part i have either been stacking two crit mods as if you have two crit mods you can increase your critical hit chance even higher so then you have a higher chance of the mod actually activating or having a crit and a blast mod because the blast mod is so versatile because you can kind of aoe the enemies in front of you especially if you've got like infected coming towards you you can just poof some fire out at them and deal tons of damage and stack on them get them away from you so you can adjust what you're doing in the fight now for the best mods to actually use in my experience i think the blast damage mods are the best to use these are fling and catapult in their respective categories now for the most part what blast damage does is when it activates it's going to knock the enemy away from you and like blow them back and this is really valuable when you are fighting infected because it's going to push them away you can also use this to ragdoll enemies away from you which is just valuable when you're getting surrounded it's a really good mod to just mow down enemies with and obviously the for your grip the reinforcement mod which lowers your weapon durability cost is absolutely a must and you should upgrade this as soon as possible unless you're going the coric charm route which is the charm that you can get in the secret dev room which you can look up how to get but it will basically just give you unlimited durability now the other mods to consider or like average mods that you should definitely play around with and in most cases are still valuable to use are the spark and flame and inferno mods these ones that activate like electricity damage or fire damage these are all valuable to use the electricity damage is great because of the stun effect that it can do it can stagger enemies it can also move between one to another enemy so you can hit multiple with it and fire is always valuable in like every game fire is like one of the best things to use i think like using the fire effects are great i really like the inferno blast mod which is the fire mod it just like puts a flamethrower in front of you for a couple of seconds to set practically everything on fire it's very valuable to use i've also toyed around with using some of the bleed damage mods like slaughter and slit and they seem okay but they don't seem to be as valuable as actually setting something on fire or staggering it with spark and in this same category of average mods the empowerment grip is also valuable valuable because it just increases your base damage so say if you're going the correct charm route and increasing your durability that way and you're not using the reinforcement grip you can use empowerment which will just increase the base damage of the weapon by a significant amount so it's well worth using in its own regard some mods to avoid is ice and toxic i've tried both of these and i don't really see much value in either of them toxic damage doesn't really seem to be better than any of the spark or flame damage that you can do if you want to go like damage over time things like that and ice is supposed to slow or freeze enemies but it doesn't really seem to it for the most part it just kind of puts a little particle effect on them it doesn't make much of a difference so which is why i've put these in the worst mods category now if you have maxed out your ice and toxic mods and these do something different do let me know in the comments down below but i don't see the point in putting any of your infected trophies into these kind of mods when there are much better options that are much easier and simpler to use my last tip for you is to go watch my brawler build which is a great build that i've used through my playthrough and it will allow you to practically one shot everything even on hard it uh, is a little op thank you for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is Norza and I hope you have a great day